the Broadway musical Hamilton, Robin. Very good. So good that the First Lady, Michelle Obama, declared it is the best piece of art of any kind that she has ever seen. And I dare say she's seen a lot of art. And while it is not easy to get tickets, we know the show's creator, Lynn manuel Miranda, is ensuring 20,000 high school students get the chance of a lifetime. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action to act. It is the hardest theater ticket in America to get, unless you're these kids. I'm Alexander Hamilton, the ten dollar bill man. I won't say we won the freaking war just because of me. High school students singing, rapping, performing about of all things, American history. Watch out your body get shot. And their biggest fan of all happens to be the hottest star on Broadway. I'm having a feelings situation in my heart. As you're sitting there watching it, are you being inspired as oh a God, composer, as a writer, mind. as a as a thespian? I, I, you know, this this particular crop in particular that we saw today, I mean, I wanted to buy half of those singles. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are here as part of the Hamilton Education Program. Hamilton's the jumping off point for them to engage with history on a deeper level. Full stop. Students like these from New York's Park East High School get to see the show after studying Hamilton thanks to the Gilder Lerman Institute and Rockefeller Foundation. He figured out the world, he noticed what he wanted to do, he wanted, and that's what he did, and that's the same thing I'm doing. I connected like with his ambition, like he was like, like he knew what he was gonna do and he like fought for it. They're the best audiences we get. And the feeling is mutual from audiences and critics alike. Hamilton just won the Grammy for Best Musical Theater Album. Miranda was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential. And his magical creation has even earned him a Pulitzer Prize. What is it like to be on that stage and look out and see faces like the President of the United States? It's, it's thrilling. And sometimes you look out and, hey, Steven Spielberg, I see you on the aisle. All I wanted to do was be Steven Spielberg when I was a kid. <laughs> um, I just thought, okay, Steven Spielberg's watching me. I guess I'm in a Steven Spielberg movie in my own mind for the next two hours and 45 <laughs> minutes. That's one of the best shows I ever did because I was trying to be worthy of the audience yeah. um, that I had. And I kind of feel that way every night. Miranda is on an epic run, making musical theater and American history not just cool, but red hot. So 16 Tony nominations. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing that was possible. <laughs> um, it's been really overwhelming. It takes a lot of people to put on a show. For everyone in the departments to be recognized is a validation of, of, of our work. And it all started when Miranda famously read Ron Chernow's Hamilton biography and thought the hip hop connection seemed obvious. I immediately went to Google once I finished the second chapter of the book and said, someone's done this. Someone's has a to have done this. A hip hop storytelling of Alexander Hamilton's life. Yeah, because. It must have been done. It's a hip hop story. It's someone who writes about their struggle and thus transcends it. And yeah. that's what all my favorite hip-hop artists have done. He meets Washington, who is totally the Dr. Dre to his Eminem. He's the guy <laughs> who signs him and gives him a life in this world. And who's Jefferson who's in the hip-hop world? I don't know who Jeff Jefferson is. Jefferson and him are probably Biggie and Pac because they're equally brilliant, but they also have fundamentally different styles. Yeah. You mentioned that you made movies as a kid. There are those who make the logical jump that this must be on the big screen. Do you see that? Yeah. Later. <laughs> how much Honestly, later? I don't know how much later, but, but you know, I worked seven years to make this thing a piece of theater. So I would obviously, I would love for as many people as possible to experience it as a piece of theater first. And I'm in no rush. For now, Miranda is loving every minute, living his dream and changing lives along the way. out when they saw my pictures yesterday on Instagram wanting to see Hamilton. So Lynn says, please, he's trying. The show is opening in Los Angeles, San Francisco, wow. Washington, D.C. next year. And that daily lottery that you may have heard of will continue where 21 people win $10 tickets every single day. Mm -hmm. And they go out and they rap because if you're not one of those 21, they don't want you to yeah. leave empty so hands. Nobody does. It's so, so great. Yes. Woo. Yes. What a show. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you, Hamilton cast.